Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Ludwig, where we're working on some pretty important stuff. Now, I also want to bring attention to your eyeballs. We have, in fact, renamed all of our cities after Patreons of the channel. Go ahead and check out the Patreon if you want to put your name in the naming list. I totally, absolutely did not forget to do that in the first episode, no sir. Now, to recount our position in the game, we are at war with Maya. We have killed Hungary. And we really want to own the city of Miskalk. Now, the reason that we want to own the city of Miskalk is because it has the juicy pyramid wonder in it. But we're probably going to have to juggle this city back and forth until the next era. So there's going to be a little bit of floofing about here. Now, something I would really like to do is if I could burn down Chichen Itza, I think that could open up some really interesting options for me. In particular, if I could get a settler and put it on that wheat, I could move this city down and right a tile which would give me a slightly better like loyalty muscle to defend against whatever this BS is in the fog of war. I know we'll just have to keep figuring things out. The other big thing is the city of Michael Freed. We just need to grow this city. So I'm going to tell it to focus on food because we really, really, really need to grow this city big time. Now, of course, it has a 75% growth negative modifier because it is disloyal. However, uh, that loyalty is slowly rising. So it shouldn't be a problem long term. Let's move one tile this way. We're going to move you this way, move you this way, because we would love to kill this guy. If we can kill this guy, we could potentially re-approach the city. Let's advance with you. We'll turn you into a swordsman. You're healing, because we don't actually need to capture this, like immediately. But if I could get this battering ram over with a swordsman, that could be a game changer. If we could get just one or two good hits on Chichen Itza and blow that city up and take a little bit of that loyalty out of the game for our enemies, could be a huge game changer for us. Otherwise, we are going to keep training our archers by shooting the city. It's worth two experience per turn, which is actually a pretty significant amount of experience for an archer. Let's go ahead and settle this city here. It will provide a small buff to the loyalty, but more importantly, it actually has a pretty decent tile to start working. And we're going to go for the monument first to try to boost up the culture. We just need a lot of culture right now. And we're also spreading out the military that I managed to capture stuff down here with. Oh, there's a barb camp to the north. Ugh. Right, we're going to have to go deal with that barb camp as well. The one that just spawned right there because I would love to get a settler on that tile. Yep. Took about half our health and damage from the city shooting us, but we can pillage for more. Go there and there. Um, you step onto this hill. Can we step forward safely with you? Step forward safely with you. Hopefully do a little bit of Chichen itza -ing. Um, we can totally pillage this tile because we have a builder in the area to repair it when we recapture the city. So a little bit of pillaging is actually fine here. Yeah, if I could blow up Chichen Itza and maybe even get a couple of pillages off, that would be amazing. It would open up so much potential for me to damage the Mayan Empire. Okay, I would like to get to work on currency, but I'm going to go ahead and finish engineering because a catapult here... Like a well-timed catapult joining this push could be helpful. Basically is my thoughts. Otherwise, we need to just like, ugh. Okay, there's still a lot of barb camps happening. Just everywhere. Yep, big ol' hit there on this archer. That's fine. We do now have political philosophy. We could go for oligarchy to get that plus four combat strength on our swordsman. I think I am going to take that because this will allow me to plug in the conscription card and get a 12, 12 gold per turn. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and plug in. Um, let's have a look here. What could we do? I like the idea of great general points. If we could get a great general, we might be able to keep pushing here. Um, but I think it would be better if I went for like settler production or something. Um, but I, I will just take great general points for now and see how far we can push this. Let's see if we can't hurt this barb encampment. We, of course, have been scouted, naturally. Scouted us on the same turn that he appeared, which is, you know, just typical barb things. In the city of Lucas, I really want to place a campus, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's a plus three campus right there on that tile. Um, and it didn't cost me any money, but I will go ahead and finish that barracks because it's worth a little bit of production and housing. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up mysticism for the envoy and then head towards probably recorded history to get more governor titles. All right, let's move this swordsman forward. Swordsman's in range to the city. He can do serious work. You're going to retreat back to a safe distance. I'm going to keep moving builders east. Um, we definitely need to kill this archer. Can we get the kill? Perfect, we did. Now we can get the pillage. Rebellion in eight turns. We can make that work. And I wouldn't say we have things in the bag, but things are looking manageable to me. Very, very manageable. Maybe a horseman coming out of the fog of war would make things difficult for me, but we're surviving. I think Maya just got crossbowmen, so this might be the limit of what we can do militarily to stop them here. We might be going up against our capabilities. So let's shoot the city, smash the city with a swordsman, shoot the city again, move an archer up, shoot the city, then smash the city with a warrior. So we know for a fact the walls are broken. Uh, let's make sure we keep shooting this city too. 
We want to bring that down to a reasonable amount of health so we can capture it. We're going to send an... Well, we can't... There's no point sending an uh, envoy to Armagh because we're at war with Armagh. Let's bring up an extra swordsman and see what we can do to help out the war effort. I could chop here. I don't think I should. I think I should move this builder to the east to help those other cities. I'll keep this builder around to repair this city so I can keep farming it for money. Okay, perfect. Let's keep blasting the city. You have a level up. Let's take Arrowstorm. You're close to a level up. Um, let's blast the city again. And then we can just about not capture the city, so we'll wait. You're going to go ahead and take the volley promotion. Let's kill that encampment. Move you here, shoot. Move you here and shoot. And we should have a small chance. We'll probably lose an archer to this guy, but it prevents any barb spawning, which is exactly what we want. I need one error score here. Okay, this city can die to barbs, which is a problem. All right, we'll have to play it carefully here. I don't know what I should do. I mean, I'm up against a lot of things. Maybe I could chop this gold tile and get something out of it. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Clear him, clear him, clear him. Ugh, of course the man at arms appears. Making my life a nightmare. Okay, one shot in Chichen Itza, two shots in Chichen Itza. Let's capture it. Boom. I think we raise it. Boom. Step in, step back. You step forward. Damage the city. You conquer the city. Let's have a look. What's the loyalty like in here? It's still super negative. We could liberate it to Hungary, but I really want to keep the pyramid. So I'm going to keep fighting for it. We're still getting massively negative loyalty pressure. There's very little we can do for the city at the moment, but we can go ahead and repair a couple of these mines to get some uh, gold from pillaging, which will really help us out. So we completed the bar barracks in Lucas. Let's go ahead and get the monument. We want that culture. Culture is really, really important for catching up. Uh, Benjamin Saiv. We are going to go ahead and pop in here. I uh, would really like to buy this campus tile. Don't have the cash for it. Can't really justify it. Also need to get like archers. I need like two more archers to like protect my empire. I'm going to go ahead and place the Apadana because it's worth two culture per turn. But we'll pop out a couple of archers in the capital city so that we can keep pushing back those barbarians because we're, we're just having barb problems. Eventually we will get a chance to settle. I promise you. It'll happen someday. Hopefully soon. Yeah, I think this archer might be dead. Yeah, the man at arms came out and hit him. Unlucky. Do we want to get a catapult? I don't think we do. Yeah, there's the crossbowman that I was predicting. Let's take Tortoise. If he steps forward, he can shoot archers on these tiles. So I'm going to go ahead and retreat back to a further back position. Repair that tile. Would love to keep fighting with the mines. I would love to pillage this theater square. A double pillage on that would be amazing for me. We definitely want to go for diplomatic quarter here. Uh, there is an ar also an argument to be made for machinery. Um, I need to sell something, but no one wants to buy my shit. Um, and I really, really need gold to get a galley. What I really, 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 really want to do. There's also going to be a huge barb invasion here to the south. I may want to consider going to peace at this point in the game. Really want to put that campus there, but I can't justify it yet. Let's get a trader in here. That seems good. We'll be able to boost currency. God, there must be something I can build to boost something. <sighs> there just is no boost here. Unlucky. Unlucky that we're going to miss a golden age by a single point. That's a depressing outcome. I'm hoping this crossbowman comes forward. There's drama and poetry. Let's advance fairly aggressively. All right, there's Yax Chilain. Move these archers up into offensive positions unless they need hailing. Um, if I extract this, that's 90 gold. What can I do with 90 gold? Nothing really. Um, era tracker. Man, that is that is depressing that we missed that golden age by a single point. I'm sure there's like a really obvious point like jumping out to me and I just can't think of it right now. Yeah, if I had horses, if I had horse tech, I would have been able to do it. Building a pasture, I think, oh shit, I could have built that horse tile. No, I could have done it. I didn't realize I hadn't built a pasture yet. Well, you live with your mistakes. That's the name of the game here. I even thought about improving that horseman thinking and I forgot that I had the golden, the, the normal age that gives you points for doing Eurekas. That's a huge misplay for me. So missing that golden age is actually really terrible, particularly for Miskolk. Devastating devastating losses. It's all right. We can make it work. We could kill Arma. Miss Kalk flipped independent again. Let's try to make, you know, lemonade. Right. I really want to pillage this. Uh, I guess I'll do another free inquiry dedication. It's a perfectly fine one. No point putting envoys into Arma. Um, capital city's under threat again, as is Berlin, which will now be renamed to Michael McAtee. Another, another loyal Patreon of the cha channel. Pat patron? Patron saint? Whatever. Listen, words are hard sometimes. Oh man, we're taking damage. Oh, Jesus Christ! 100% production towards city center buildings would really help me catch up, so I'm going to vote for that. And then no great people points earned towards great riders would help me out too to slow down whoever's winning a culture victory. So great scientists are doubled and so are city centers. That's actually going to be super helpful. You are going to take the tortoise promotion. You're going to fortify. You're retreating. These archers are here to shoot this guy. You step there. You go there. These archers are here to assist in the combat. 
You can fortify and pillage. Let's do it. Keeping strong. Really would like to get a pillage on this. Might be able to make it work, might not be able to make it work. I'm tempted to go all in on the war and just try to force it. Try to force the war, you know. Minor defeat, you might kill. Perfect, so we'll get that pillage too. I, I, I think there is something to be said for just like going all in and trying to force war here. Um, as my ticket out of this bad situation. All right, that swordsman is, is down and out. He's in bad shape, but that's okay. I'll vote that up, not that I care. I want other people to waste their money sending it to a player that I'm killing. Return to game. I want you to move back a tile. I want you to move to here. I want you to hold these defensive positions. That's perfect. This city is flipping independent in eight turns. Uh, let's farm some XP off of it. Perfect. And we will also pillage for gold. We're getting a little bit of extra cash out of that. Probably should keep the builder around there if that city's going to keep flipping independent. Would love to get a city settled here. Lucas has built its monument. Uh, let's get the water mill. These buildings are built 100% faster. So I think getting these are going to give me a really good economic boost. I also think we should just chop out units. I'm going to chop out, I'm going to chop out a catapult and try to get it to the front line because I think that would really help with this. All right, there's just, this is a constant stream of barbarians and bullshit. Um, honestly, that's what you could rename this series to. Like this, this specific series of Civ gameplay that I'm doing. Barbarians and bullshit. That's what I would like to call it. It has a real Dungeons and Dragons feel, you know? Oh my God, dude, it's so much damage. All right, you just retreat, retreat. Take that shot, kill him. Keep farming experience. It's not much experience, right? But plus two experience every single turn. I'll take it. Ooh, expert marksman, double shot. That's huge. We have a double shot archer on turn 94, um, which means he's gonna keep earning experience nice and quickly. We've got a monument in here. Let's slowly build ancient walls to try to provide some sort of extra defensive benefits here. I'm gonna chop here to try and get this catapult a little bit sooner. Archer is doing work, more archers are coming. We could damage the city, there's no need to right now. It's bad right now, we're having a bad time, but we're not dead. That's the important piece of data. The important piece of data is we're surviving. Wouldn't call it thriving, but we're not dead. And if you're not dead, man, you're alive. Potato wisdom, 101. Okay, take that to the bank. All right, we found the barb camp that we need to defeat. We found the dragon, but now we, now we must slay it. Yas, queen, slay. All right, a little bit of damage happening. I'm gonna step this archer to here, shoot here. And I'm gonna move you to here so you can start hitting that barb camp. Over here on my capital city, I'm gonna step you out of the city. You're gonna remain in the city shooting because you have the plus 10 combat strength from garrison promotion. I gave him the garrison promotion so he could better defend the city and potentially even push back this. I would like to settle here just to eat up this land to prevent any more forward settling from Mali. Um, when it comes to my capital city, I think it would be good for me to start producing more militaristic stuff. Could potentially be really good to get this out. Um, let's chop here. There's a catapult. I can level up this catapult a little bit by shooting this swordsman, which is great news. I think I should do an encampment training to try to secure a great general. It wouldn't be a bad move, I think. How many great generals are available? Um, all of the medieval era ones are great available and I would like to get one. So I think I will run the encampment training project in my capital city. Man, I just need more archers. It's just, it's bad. This whole chaos is like a big problem for me. I don't even have the, the settler card plugged in. Uh, we have recorded history, so at least we have another governor title. We can assign researcher to Pingala to get that extra little bit of science per turn. That's going to help us out a lot. It's an extra five science per turn. It's a big deal. Righty. Oh, you're going to get blasted. I'm going to move this trader to... I, I wonder what was what's my best gold trade route. It's from Dan to Niani. I'm going to do that trade route. Trade route from Dan to Niani. That's eight gold per turn. That's huge. Currency gets boosted as well. You have a kill on him. You can continue to do big damage on him. We got that trader in this city. Would love to continue to produce military stuff, but really just need a builder. Like super bad, but I can't, I can't justify a builder. Especially not when we're building these buildings twice as fast. Watermill granary. Man, do I just, do I just build catapults? I don't think I do. I think, I think, I think I pivot to a slightly more late game strategy. Need to get rid of this crossbowman. I'll shoot him once and then retreat my swordsman back further. Oh wait, I can shoot him twice because this is a double shooting archer. Amazing. Clear this camp. Holy shit, we got rid of it. There's another three error score. God, we were so close to a golden age. Devastating stuff. Big damage, that's okay. Right, this man at arms needs to be defeated. So we're gonna go ahead and position ourselves carefully. He can't cross the river and attack, but he can cross the river. So we step back one tile and then we can just use the river as a defensive wall. You're trying to level yourself up off of this guy. Um, you could kill this crossbowman. It would put you under jeopardy, but I think it's worth it to double shoot him. Still got four turns before I need to clear that. Pop back to heal, you pop back to upgrade. Uh, I gotta, I think I, well, I don't need to clear it yet. Keep getting experience here. You're very, very close to your fourth promotion as well, which will mean I'll have two potential crossbows with double shot. If I can get this guy and this guy back to be double shotting crossbows, it becomes very, very scary for the Maya. So maybe I do go all in. Let's chop here. Maybe I do go all in. I just can't decide whether or not I should go all in on war. Come on, get this kill. All right, good man, good man, good man. Right, barbs are slowly being cleared out. We are making it slowly but surely. We're getting, the, we're getting hold of our territory at long last. God, it just, it feels like we've just been under siege the entire game. And honestly, it, I think we have been, really. Like if you look at what has happened this game. Okay, okay. You step back there, you stayed there. You 
need to shoot that city. That'll get you just about promoted. Need one more shot there. You fortify. You step here. You full retreat. You full retreat. You stay fortified. You have tortoise, right? You do have tortoise. So you have a good chance of surviving. I would love to upgrade you to a swordsman, but I really need to save that for my crossbowman. Let's see if you can go ahead and improve those horses. It would be nice to get them online. And then we can go ahead and start repairing. So I've got a slightly leveled catapult and I have the potential to get myself a medieval era great general which will help me with my trebuchets the war game has begun all right a little bit of damage on that guy but that's okay there's machinery 12 turns into a crossbowman in the capital that's like not ideal shoot and shoot all right so you're gonna shoot the city again that gets you your level you're gonna step to here well you're on floodplain so i'm kind of scared that you'll die if i upgrade you so i'm gonna wait until you're fully healed before you get upgraded save that gold for the future okay i think it would be good for me to go currency into apprenticeship especially because i'm about to boost horseback riding with a pasture i've managed to clear out the barb camp down here god was it a nightmare i'm going to cancel this crossbow but i don't think it makes sense anymore instead the hell do i go for really want to build the campus really need builders to get these tiles repaired need 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 the builder okay one more turn until miskalk becomes a mayan city so i will need to be prepared to capture it to prevent that flip from happening because if it flips to maya it'll become really hard to take comparatively speaking all right, you get into the city, you step here, you go ahead and shoot the city to get a bit of experience. You take the city down to get a little bit of experience. We, we keep this, we could liberate it, but I want the pyramid benefit. Okay, so you're in position now. I think this is not a floodplain tile. No, it's just on the river, so I feel safe upgrading you. You're healing, you're healing. A lot of my units are healing. Um, I need to save up cash for the next crossbowman. There's horseback riding, incredible. That could have been my golden age there, but it wasn't because I misplayed slightly. You take the volley promotion because you're not inside a district. We have met Poundmaker. If I had met Poundmaker, that also would have been a golden age. Knowledge of construction has advanced. There's defensive tactics. You're going to step up onto this hill. You're going to stay here. I hope he doesn't kill this goddamn trade route. That would be really, really annoying if he did. I'm just saying that right now to the universe. Please don't do that to me. I uh, will take expert marksman on this guy. You're rebelling in two turns. The good news is I will be able to train up my archers really effectively on this city. So we'll get a lot of we'll get a lot of experience. It'll be annoying. Um, but it is part of how the cookie crumbles. We're going to go ahead and take Garrison. Well, we should really take Magnus because there is some potential for chopping in our empire. Uh, feudalism, I think, is our next technology that we want to pick up. Our next civic, rather, because it gives us plus two build charge actions. Um, yeah. Let's take out a Gog and plug in Limitanii. Yeah, there's a couple of chops over here in Dan that I would like to get done. So I'm going to move this builder over there to get that done. No, you to here you to here and then by the time magnus is established we'll be able to do a double chop here and potentially get out of campus to get a little bit of extra science flowing uh maybe see if we can catch up a bit the real science is going to come from killing killing maya if we can so there's currency we can also chop out a little bit of currency but i think getting these three campuses up is actually pretty important to me like long term okay we got the ancient walls in michael mccati we do we are still benefiting from the really nice um world congress so i'm gonna go watermill granary in here it's because the city is just, like these cities are really bad like they're really, 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 really bad um, without any food or production. I'm going to take those horses, actually. The city could really use them. These cities are struggling. We are coming up. Let's have a look. Timmer is going. We might not get Timmer. I think we should just we should just accept that we might not get a medieval era great general. That's fine. If we don't, um, not the end of the world. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. We definitely would love to have this crossbowman fully healed and ready to join the front line when the time comes. Uh, we really hope that she doesn't get medieval walls. So I would love to like storm this city with all of my swordsmen at full health. Um, I might even make another swordsman to make that a reality. Have the crossbowman behind. Let's do it. Let's go all out. Um, these archers should be like this. All right. City defenders have done their job. We're going to start slowly pushing towards this barb camp so we can clear it. Kill that thing right there. The city flipped independent. That's fine. Ooh, you're in a dangerous position. Cycle the moves. Um, most important thing is that we get rid of the swordsman. At little to no cost to ourselves economically or militarily. So you step up here. You shoot this guy twice. Then you shoot him. And then you shoot him. So that's those swordsmen dealt with. Catapult is coming. I've got units fog busting down south. I've got a potential unit defending Dan. Well, I think we're looking actually really damn good here. I think there's some potential, guys. There's some really interesting and cool moves we can make here that might be really big game changers. All right, Swordsman came forward and smashed our archer. Honestly, um, that was actually the best unit he could have attacked. Let's shoot this guy twice. Uh, we're going to get these guys to continue working on the city because we want to get them leveled up. You're in a safe spot. You need to retreat. We're pushing. Catapults up front. Crossbowman's coming. Really bad to get a flood right now. Uh, I'm going to say it out loud because if it happens, uh, Sid Meier has actually haunted me. <laughs> um, 
no, I need to save that chop. All right, good job tanking. Ugh, cross bomb in there is so annoying. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of stuff there. Right, my double shot archer and my double shot crossbow should make work of that, at least. One, two, three, four, five. Recapture. Keep that city. We'll just have to keep capturing it to keep it busy and keep getting the experience. We can get some repairs in the capital, finally. I think it's time that we try to sneak out some settlers to get these cities down. God. This is just painful. <laughs> we should totally build these cheap buildings while they're available. Magnus is almost established here. We super need the gold, but the campus is just so good. I think we might chop out a builder to get the city going a little bit better. A granary monument. Man, this is just a grind, dude. We are just, we're up against it. This is an unfathomably difficult game that we're playing right now. It requires so much nuanced movement and careful poise and, you know, positioning units and all that jazz. It's just, it's, it's very, it's very cerebral, this game right now. Okay, we're going to chop the woods, all right? Chop the woods, boom. We're going to repair this, immediately place the plus five campus, immediately chop the woods. So that's four turns on that campus. That's fantastic. It's exactly what we were looking for and hoping for. Now, in terms of the advancement, we're not yet ready to advance. This crossbowman and archer need to be here and here to be prepared. You need to fortify for a turn. You're all fortified. You're falling back to heal. Okay, I think we've done an encampment project and it looks like, yeah, all the medieval era generals were taken. That's fine. Granary, watermill. Let's get these cities pumping, growing. While we're getting that 100% production boost, we need to take those if we can get them. You shouldn't be building a crossbowman. Um, you should get that watermill. Let's see what the barbarians of the AI does. So they're shooting here. This is what we expect. All right, we're going to we're gonna have to storm forward a little bit aggressively, but... Okay, this is a very, very dangerous move. Totally misclicked it. Let's be really, really aggressive. Total misclicks here. I need to reload this turn. I just made so many misclicks. <laughs> God. Okay, so let me, let me show you what I was meant to do this turn. I was meant to move my two swordsmen forward. I was meant to move this swordsman to the right. I was meant to move this to here and move this swordsman here and prepare to advance with my ranged units. And the next turn, we should be able to be putting the threat on this. Um, I'll put my catapult on this tile. Feels good to me. Rest of these guys are in well positioned locations. And I think, God, I wish I had some horsemen right now. I think horsemen would really be a game changer for me if I could get them. Wait a minute. Didn't this guy have one built? Wait a minute. Does every time I capture the pyramids restore a build charge to these builders? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I just discover a really esoteric and strange exploit? No. There's no way it works that way. It's impossible. Do you know how many times I've said that when I've been playing Civ? That there's no way it works that way. How did you shoot him? I'm sorry. Where? Who shot him? Wow. Okay, this guy came forward. You shoot. You shoot. You shoot. Wushu. Wushu. All right, we're looking good. This is just fucking chaos over here. Jesus Christ. I can't get a break. It's, my capital has been under siege the entire game. I just, I literally, I, I cannot make it stop. I can't, I can't make the voices stop. Uh, we're going to go for mercenaries. God, what a, what a game. <laughs> this is a gamer's game, man. All right, let's get the quarry there. That's good. All right, crossbow took a hit, but survived. Exactly the position we want to be in. This is bad. Catapult needs to die. So do that. Perfect. You're safe now. Step back a tile. Take your grape shot promotion. Once, twice, thrice, quatrice, catice. Whatever. I don't know how words work. Fortify a little bit. Just plan it, plan it safe. All right, this guy. We're playing a really not safe with this guy. But listen, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take some risks, okay? With the army you got. We're trying to get a. We're trying to win a war with basically no resources. You gotta give me some credit for that, right? Because I haven't been building any units to reinforce these armies at all. Like none. There's no, there's no help coming. There's none. Huh. So did losing, did losing the pyramids kill those builders? Did those builders disappear? What is happening in this game? So strange. Okay, there's a nice campus. We have military training. You're going to fortify. You're going to promote. You're going to shoot. 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 How strange. There's some wacky weirdness going on here today. So we got that campus down. Our science is now looking a little bit better, um, but we're still super behind. A horseman here would be so huge. Um, but what I really need, what I really, 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 really need are settlers. Um, I think it's time to give up on the great general dream and move into settler production, settler and builder production to see if we can dig our way out of this hole. It might also be time to consider piecing out um, Maya. But I think honestly, staying at the war is actually an advantage to me because as long as she's willing to piece me out, 
at any point there's no reason not to do it like, there's no reason not to stay at war uh, you're going to retreat I really want to storm Koba it's a 10 pop city if we could just get the battering ram up there with some high health swordsmen god we could do so much work what if we just went what if we just went all in Let's keep leveling up these archers by shooting the city. That seems very natural to me. The problem is the city has a lot of, a lot of combat strength defense. But man, if we stormed, we could storm. Like, if we get up there, it's potentially a wrap. Good damage coming out there. You need to stay here and heal because this crossbowman's a threat to you. You move on to this, he could step down and shoot you. Um, this guy should step forward and shoot you. And this guy could step forward and shoot you. So this guy's the safest place he can be right now. Right, we're going to try and storm the city, see if it works. Um, and we're probably going to start just mass producing units again in the near future to try to make this build work because I just, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, but it's not working. All right, Swordsman took a, bit, a little bit of a hit. That's okay. I don't know where that pikeman went. We can do... If you can get onto that pillageable tile, you can move forward, break the walls, just like go, you know, just, just go. Don't even hesitate. Let's get these archers forward blasting. You heal, blast that city seven turns until we need to take it. If we could take out Koba, oh my God, dude. If we could take out Koba and Arma, I think, I think we might just put ourselves in like a winning position. Um, right, let's go for mathematics. City, guess what you're making? Man at arms. Uh, let's get, well, crossbowmen. We're going to start making some changes to our government here soon. And we're going to go all in on war. I, th I think we've been pushed in the direction of war and we just don't have a choice anymore. I think we just have to accept our fate as a war, as this is a war game. And, and this is just, this is just a forced move, right? Okay, shoot here. You shoot there. All right, that's cleared. You pillage. Step forward. You step here. Shoot this guy. Shoot the city. Smash the hell out of the walls. Don't even care if I lose them. Shoot. Shoot. You camp the city. You move here. You step. Not enough golden treasury for you to become a man at arms. That's okay. Really need to just capture Koba. Would love to be pillaging all these pillageable tiles, but I just don't think it can happen. Just wish I could, I wish I could make it work. Um, yep. Man at arms. Man at arms. Granary monument. I will prevail. Okay. I refuse to give up. We went back for a little bit of economy. Now we're going to push for military. That's the play. Let's move Magnus to Michael McAtee and get this builder in position for a chop. You go here for a chop. Would love to get those man-at-arms a little bit quicker. All right. Lost that archer. Willing to lose the archer. Just need to break this city's things. We're so close to Mercs. Break the city. Retreat. I think it might be happening here. I think we might be pushing the war back. We definitely need to get rid of this scout. So... Let's make sure that happens. All right, he's dealt with. Let's finish this crossbowman. I can't wait to like change my government. I need to save my cash though, so I can't afford to change it right now. I, sh I should have really committed to the war um, rather than half-assing it. If I had committed, I might've been able to be somewhere better than where I am right now. It's fine though. I've slowly bled out my army, but I think I have a much stronger empire for the as a result of the decisions I made. Can you go there and get that pillage? Get a little bit of health into you. God, you're just in such bad shape. This guy's so close to a promotion too. I need to be really careful with that guy. You're basically dead. I'm going to retreat you. Careful positioning. We want to wait until the man-at-arms is closer to being finished and then we'll chop out. Get that kill. Amazing. We are getting a settler in Dan. I should probably have at least one city producing settlers, right? All right, good shit. Get that pillage. Now, the thing about the Mayan empires, it's not going to be a very good empire to take over, but we might just burn it down and then resettle it. Take over our ma and see what we can do with it. Shoot and shoot. We could step forward and shoot. Yeah, let's do it. Really need these gold pillages if I can find them. Oof. All right, there's mercenaries. We're going to take out colonization. We're going to plug in cheaper unit upgrades. We're going to take out Limitanii and we're going to plug in uh, Maneuver to produce units faster. Sorry, not Maneuver. That's the wrong card. I want Feudal Contract to be able to produce Man at Arms and Crossbowman faster. Now when I chop, boom, that'll make a big difference. Let's keep pumping the Man at Arms. I think the Man at Arms are going to be the things that carry me through this war. Um, having big meaty frontliners with a couple of crossbows sitting behind them is going to be the play. This settler needs to just go like secure Yosemite or something. God, what a... This is... This is this, these are the games that give me nightmares, dude. This is actually my least favorite type of game of save, but I'm actually having an amazing time. Like, I'm having so much fun manipulating and maneuvering my way around all the various challenges that the game is throwing at me. Like, I should totally upgrade these guys to Man-at-Arms. But then Man-at-Arms are going to start spawning, so it's kind of scary. But we can start chipping away at Koba now. I don't remember if dams are worth thing money when pillaged, but what we really need to do is to get some units healed up and get that city surrounded. So it'll be a little bit of time before we can get military over here to make a difference. Oh, crossbowman just stepped out to cause me a nightmare. New crossbowman just arrived to the front line. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and do that again. Let's chop here. There's another man at arms. Okay, we're starting to see the military. 
come back online. Crossbows and man-at-arms. That's what we're going to fuel our military with. Now, I'm curious, if this city flips, do I lose this builder right here? Because the pyramid disappeared? That's a very interesting mechanic, if that's how it works. Because that is not the behavior or interaction I would have expected. I mean, kind of technically it makes sense, but it's also just not what I would have expected. Yes, we need to smash this crossbowman and be pretty aggressive about it. I'm going to bring this crossbowman up. Would uh, God, I mean, what I would do to have some horses in this fight. Ow, I just hit my knee off my desk. I'm sorry if that messed with your ears. All right. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a problem. But I mean, miscalc has just been a problem since the start of the game. So that's not like it's a new issue that we're like, oh, all of a sudden this city is a problem. No, it's like it has been a problem, like continuously. All right, Lucas, get me into the man-at-arm. All right, you guys stay fortified. You will have a crossbowman to help you soon. You go there, shoot that city. You go there, double shoot that city. Slowly but surely, it's happening. Step back, shoot that guy. There's the promotion we were looking for to get you a bit of healing. Okay, um, enemies are advancing. Damn, we just lost a crossbow. That's brutal. Um, we can, however, get some kills. You go there, go there, him, go there. So I think the move is to kill the enemy crossbowman. It's the most important thing to get rid of. You should honestly move back a step to even heal faster. I need another swordsman, ideally on this crossbowman tile, to project power. We got a crossbowman in the capital. Let's go for another crossbowman. This one exists to try to clear this barb camp. We're all out destroying our own economy in the hopes of capturing someone else's. Oof, lost a warrior there, I think. The good news is that we are losing old units. We're losing units that aren't very useful. I don't think these these ones I don't care about. I'm just going to click randomly because this is a World Congress that I just don't care to optimize. I don't think it matters to the outcome of the game. Okay, you have a promotion. Step back, shoot, and shoot, and shoot. Catapult, shoot. You shoot, you move up, you heal. Uh, you promote, you move up, you move up, you chop, get me a crossbow, awesome, and get me a crossbow, just trying to make this work. Do -do. I think we settle here, an aqueduct to that tile so that we can set this up correctly. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. No, we can actually settle on the fresh water. Yeah, this works. Still hammering the barbs around the capital, and Koba's health is slowly falling. God, there's another crossbowman. Ugh, ugh. Step back a tile, you shoot him. Finish him off. Seven turns until Miss Cock flips. We just might, it might be better off just to leave that as is. Uh, go ahead and take him placement. You're starting to become leveled. You step here, shoot him. You step here, shoot him twice. Get rid of that crossbow. Every time we kill a crossbow, it's like a massive victory because we're essentially killing a unit. That would be a nightmare for us to deal with otherwise. Um, so the double, this double shot crossbowman is carrying us right now in a big, big way because of the amount of kills it lets us get. Oof. All right, he took a big hit. So let's... Move you in. The city's under siege now. We're going to step back. Well, actually, if I take the garrison promotion, you're technically standing in a city. You're technically standing in a district, so you get plus 10 combat spent right there, which is enough to make it viable. Bring catapult forward to start blasting the city, gain some experience. I've got five envoys and no city states to give it to. <laughs> oh man, the Thunderdome is real. Shoot, move, shoot, move, shoot, move. Perfect execution, flawless. Oh man, so much damage we're taking. Dude, this is the scrappiest game I think I've ever played. God, we need to get rid of that crossbowman so badly. You move here to give adjacency combat strength. You move there, I'll move this archer forward, move you to here. Ugh, a man at arms being annoying. Get me another man of arms, send him in. We will catch this crossbowman, I hope. Clear out this nonsense. Move one tile to the right, take your promotion. Move one tile to the right, take your shot. Move here, you're in position, awesome. The crossbowman is now in the city of Koba, which is a problem. It's a problem we can deal with. That guy's on a hill, he can shoot you. Not good. Move here. So what's the combat strength difference between me and Maya? Maya is quite a bit weaker than me. You take that battle cry promotion, you fortify. You need to get back onto that farm, actually, so you can heal. Oh God, you need healing. Shoot that guy, shoot that guy. Smash that guy. Giggity. Um, how long? Four turns. Okay, four turns if that city flips. Get up here. We need to start hitting this city. We'll get major victories with Man at Arms. So I think we're like on the verge. We're on the verge of victory here. Drop the settler. Boom. Three error score for being adjacent to that thing. Uh, monument, watermill, granary in that order. Just slowly build up the city. Don't die. Fuck. Really needed him to live. That swordsman, if he had got that farm pillage off, it would have been amazing. Okay, let's just go all in on the city, start hitting it, hitting it and quitting it. Like I do with your mom. Oh yeah. Boom. We also need to prevent this city from falling to the AI. Awesome. Captured. 15 experience. Keep the city. Five turns until it flips. Monument granary. Never gonna happen, but it doesn't matter. I think those I think that builder actually did die. I think this does like 
there's like some weird fuckery going on with the pyramids. There's musket men, dude! Bro, I can't get ahead of it. Who has musket men? Okay, I'm okay with losing stuff. Crossbowmen in. Man at arms in, in. Shoot, we can take the city next turn. That's huge. More man at arms are coming. You're ready for an upgrade. Let's get those catapults moving. Good God. The level of disrespect this barb camp is giving me right now. How is it spawning so much? That's the thing I don't get. I don't understand how it's making so much shit. All right, crossbow to here. Shoot. Shoot. Retreat. God, I need so many crossbows to clear this out. But we will prevail. A man at arms has been completed in here. Guess what we're building? Another man at arms. Straight to the front line with you. And you. How to cripple your empire, but also win the game. Uh, a Civ 6 story. So I would love to pillage this. Get that nice cultural boost. And then steal that city. Boom. There's the city of Koba. Rebellion in two turns. We keep the city. Minus 22 loyalty. That is absolutely horrific. Let's grab Magnus. Put him into the new city. Let's grab Victor. Put him into Miskolk. Dude, I think we're slowly breaking him. We're, or rather her. We're slowly breaking the Mayans. It's happening. God! I'm not enjoying this game. <laughs> Okay, I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>